What is up my dudes, Jordan here, and today, in this video, we are going to discuss if you should purchase a Verve Premium account or a Crunchyroll Premium account. Let's get into it. So, Verve and Crunchyroll are the cream of the crop when it comes to legitimate streaming services for anime. Now, to be fair, there are a ton of other streaming services for watching anime, like Funimation, if you're into dubs, and even Netflix, Hulu, and HBO Max, all have a good amount of anime to watch. But if you are a cultured individual, such as myself, then you need the best of the best. And for right now in 2021, in my opinion, those happen to be Verve and or Crunchyroll. Now, which one should you spend your hard earned money on? Crunchyroll has all of the latest, hottest new anime series that you're gonna wanna watch. Basically anything from One Piece to the quintessential quintuplets. That is very hard to say. And just a multitude of other genres of anime that you are looking for. It has basically everything you're gonna need. And as an added bonus, if you spend your money on a Crunchyroll premium account, you get access to the Crunchyroll manga that is available through their website or on their app. This service has a good chunk of manga for you to read, including Attack on Titan. So that's pretty cool. Now with Crunchyroll, you have a few different options. There are three levels of the premium membership for you to purchase, but the base purchase of a Crunchyroll premium account is $7.99 a month. Verve or VRV. Okay, so right off the bat, Verve is more expensive. You're gonna pay $10 a month, but it comes with a lot more content. There are a few different sites on its service for you to consume anime and cartoons and other series. With a Verve account, you get access to all of Crunchyroll, High Dive, Mondo, and Rooster Teeth. Now, to be fair, I mainly use Verve for Crunchyroll and High Dive. I'm just on it to watch anime. But if you are looking to expand your viewing entertainment needs, then Verve is definitely a good option for you. It's the most bang for your buck. It makes sense. Verve on paper seems like the best option. However, here's the juicy part. If you pay for a Verve premium account, you get access to everything that I mentioned earlier. But you can also link that Verve account to a Crunchyroll premium account. So basically paying $10 a month, you get access to all of the benefits on both services. Now you might be asking yourself, why do they do this? This seems very confusing. Basically paying $10 a month, you get all of Crunchyroll, all of High Dive, a good chunk of manga to read, including Attack on Titan. So all of that for $10 a month, in my opinion, is a very solid deal. Also, some of the other manga besides Attack on Titan include Space Brothers, Card Capture Sakura, King's Game Origins, a Genshin Impact manga series, a Final Fantasy manga series. That's a pretty sweet deal, if you ask me. So in a nutshell, the real winner of this debate is you because you can pay ten dollars a month and get a lot of anime and a good chunk of manga 